obviously, um, all these years after Solidarity, you felt compelled to write write this book. So, is is this a is this a carryover from, um, you know, what what motivated your participation all those years ago? Well, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you my motivation for doing the book is my background had been, I, I started out, I was, had been a student, I, I'd been an activist, uh, student and community activist and, and other things. And I, and I had also worked at, come out of the underground press. So I had that kind of new left underground press background. And I had gotten a job back in those days, there was a third daily newspaper in the Vancouver area called the Columbian. And I had gotten a job, there was my first job at uh, a bourgeois newspaper. And I, I was working there and just when the solid and the solidarity thing started happening, it was kind of wild, you know. And so I, I ended up covering a lot of it, going to the meetings, going to the rallies, actually as someone covering it. And over the years, you know, I continued writing uh, newspapers, other books, whatever, over the years and um, magazine stuff. And. And it was always in the back of my mind that, you know, you know, somebody should do something else about this. You know, somebody should write about this. There should be more about this. If this had happened in Paris or New York, it would be the stuff of legends. There'd be all sorts of books on it and documentary films about it. And, and because it happened in Vancouver, there'd been some stuff written about it, uh, but very little. And, and so that was my primary motivation at first, because I figured it's important to document this where there's still people around who participated in it to talk about it. However, while I started working on it, it became more timely to me. A, a whole other purpose emerged for me. And what that purpose was is you could see the rise of the uh, far right governments around the world, you know, whether it was, uh, and I'm not just talking about Trumpism, but you know, Brazil, Hungary, I, I mean, all over the place, you could see this, this starting to happen. Uh, and I think a lot of my motivation suddenly became that this was actually a really an interesting historic lesson, how to form a mass movement against a far right government's legislation, which is what exactly happened here. And it wasn't just the left and trade unionists. It was people who had never even thought about politics before going into the streets here in 83. The fact that that happened here, uh, considering the state of the, the awful state of the world these days, um, made it more timely and relevant to the 2020s than I had initially thought when I originally came up with writing it. 